Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Charlene FX. Welcome back and thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you uh, for getting me over that 1,000 subscriber mark. Super excited about that. Thank you so much for all your support, for all of you that have been watching my videos, liking my videos, uh, leaving comments, sharing it. It really, really means a lot to me. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for that. I cannot wait until we reach higher limits and go above and beyond with it. But for now, I'm going to celebrate the little wins. Um, now, back to uh, what this video is going to be about. Uh, probably my worst, worst, worst loss of the week, guys. Um, I'm down about fifteen, almost $17,000 on the week. Worst week I've had in a really long time. It's not even, it's the worst week I've ever had trading. Um, wasn't patient with my setups. I did not wait for all my confirmations, overly confident, and all of those things caused me to take really bad losses this week. I've only taken about three setups and I'm down that much. So it's just, uh, it really had me down, really had me low key depressed. I'm not even gonna lie, I was just really messed up in the head about it. Um, because I know my abilities, I know what I could do. And I know I'm gonna bounce back. I'm not gonna dwell on it that much longer. But I just wanted to share this video with you guys of uh, me going over the trades, back testing, and um, understanding why I lost the trade that I lost and how I could do better next time. And also, I want you guys to understand that market conditions are always changing. It, it varies from time to time. You know, we had a pandemic going on this year, or we still do. And then we had the elections, and, and there's just so much going on, and all those things affect the market. So you have to take all these things into consideration. Uh, I'm not blaming those things for my losses, but... I will say that um, lack of patience can really, really kill you in this market. So let's go over GJ and the trades that I lost this week on GJ. Let's go over some setups. And we're going to be, I haven't traded much after those those uh, three losses that I took, three or four losses. Um, I didn't trade anymore. I didn't trade today. I didn't trade yesterday. And I won't be trading tomorrow. I'm done for the week. Um, but we're going to be going over a lot of setups that I saw. And... Um, during on the days that I did trade and some that I haven't seen and we're going to go over how we can could have taken them if we were trading during that time and uh, practicing patience. Okay, really, really practicing patience. And if we miss setups, we miss moves and it is what it is. I would rather miss a move than enter and lose out on the trade. Okay, we're going to be sticking to GJ on the 15 and the 30 minute time frame. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to break down this chart here on the 30 minute and go from here. This was the very first trade that I took. London session in New York and I lost the trade. Okay, and this was the $10,000 loss that I took on that day. And we'll go over that right now. Okay, so this was my mindset when I took this trade, guys. I was looking at the charts during London session. London session was about to kick off here. I looked at, at my past and I said, if I look left, you know, this level, this support has been holding for some time. So what I should have waited for is a clear break, right? A clear break of this breakout here for me to take this sell um, all the way down or waited for a buy signal to take the buy. I did not do that. I went off one confirmation, guys, and it's the only reason why I lost. It's because I just went off of the confirmation that this support has been holding. Came down, closed above, came down, closed above, came down, closed above, came down, closed above. It did it so many times. I said, you know what? I don't see it breaking this time around, but it did. Something you guys should remember and know for sure is that when you have uh, sessions that are opening in a highly volatile session, such as London session, levels get broken. Supports get broken. Resistances get broken. Levels, strong levels sometimes can get broken because there's so much volume, so much volatility coming into the market that that volume is going to push price wherever it wants to go. So you have to re remember that when you're trading, especially London session. So I took a buy here anticipating that price was going to come down here and continue back up. It did not do that. It pushed all the way down. And as you guys can see, if I move to the, we're going to stay on the 15 minute for our entries. And if you look here, you'll see that price just tanked. Okay, I had a buy here and it tanked on me and I didn't close out sooner than I should have and I took a really ugly loss. Okay, so we're gonna let this go by real quick. We're gonna have a level marked off um, right here. All right, and then we have this QP down here. So let's see where price does, where it goes. Okay, so we have uh, another support that's forming whoa down here okay so 
So I need to see price break this from a, a support and then continue bullish for it to go up, uh, possibly to this area up here. But if it does break this level and comes down, I want to see a resistance form and a break below. Okay, so now we're breaking above here. We're breaking above. We have a close. If I zoom this in some more, I do have a close above here and a support that was formed if price to continue bullish. Normally we take this, right? Have FOMO, jump into this trade. Yeah, it's gonna shoot all the way up. No, we're gonna practice patience. We're going to wait for a valid retest of this level. Then we're gonna wait for a support above this level. Then we're gonna wait for a break of high. If I don't see those three confirmations, I'm not taking the trade. Okay, so let's see here. Did not break above. Okay, it could come down back in the range. If it comes back in the range, we still don't have a trade, guys, because too much chopping is going on in here, okay? But it did not push up, and we are about New York session, so a little bit into New York session. And we're looking like we're coming back into the range here. Okay, we came back in the range. All right, no trade range inside here. I'm, st I'm not even taking a sell in here, guys, because too much chopping. There's no clean moves going down, so I'm not doing that either. But I do have a level over here that I want to see. So if price comes back up and form the support, I would want to see a break of here or maybe even a break of here. But this would, our stop loss would just be too big for this. So if I see a support formed here um, and a break of maybe this level here, maybe even here, we can take a buy going up. But if it comes back down here, we're not taking the trade. And if it breaks this support down here, I want to say resistance form, a break of low, and then for it to continue bearish. Okay. So we have a break above, same situation that we had here, price going up. Uh, if I want to see a bearish candle come down, form a valid support, and then a break of a high to continue bullish. Okay, good. So we have a retest here. I want to see a bear, uh, bullish candle form next to here and break this high. So if this high gets broken here, we're going to have our, our entry right there. And I'm going to put our stops below this candle below. And then we're going to take it to retest this high. Let's keep it up here. To even 20 pips. Okay. Trade is activated. And... Good, TP was hit, okay? So TP was hit. So guys, waited on our confirmations, patience, okay? We did not enter here, waited for price to come back, break above in a support. We did not have a valid support above. We had valid, the support was thrown underneath. I wanna see a break above and then a break of the high, okay? This kind of was the same setup, right? Broke above, came down, support formed and broke up, but support was inside my range, right along this rejection level here. So I'm not taking that trade. Price came down, almost came back inside the range, came back up, closed above, a strong bullish close above. Then it came down to retest, so retested with this candle. Then it formed a support, which is what I wanted to see. And then it broke these candles high. Broke this resistance high. And then we have this little range here to the left for it to continue up. This should continue bullish. It could come back to test this again, but it should continue bullish. Either way, guys, we won the trade. We got our pips and we got out. Whatever happens now is what happens. So, and then price continued up and now it's retesting. So we are in the middle of New York session. So we're out of session right now. I don't, I don't never trade this late into New York. So let's go into um, London on the next day which is right there. So let's go to 30 minute and we're going to move this along here. All right. So now we're gonna streamline our zone. We have a little zone here, kind of a range of here and a wick, nice wick fill to the left here. So we'll put a support there. So I want to see a break of this high or or um, a break of this low for us to take a trade. Okay, we're, we're going to stay fluid. All right, guys, look for buys and sells. If we look for buys, our TP can be up here for 33 pips. This is a no trade range. We're not taking any trades inside here. Too much ranging. And then down here, we have this nice wick fill to the left for 40 pips. All right. 
So let's see what price does here. Okay, break up below, but then it came back inside. Same situation here. Let's go to the 30, 15 minute because I don't want to miss an entry if we have it there. So a lot of ranging. Okay, we're about to be in pre-New York session here. So yeah, London didn't really do much. London shot down and shot right back inside. So not much of anything there. Okay, so we have a close below. Finally have a close below. Close here and it retested this low here. So I wanna see a uh, resistance form here and then a break of the low to continue bearish. And didn't get it. We didn't get our, 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 um, our confirmation that we missed the trade. Missed the trade, not a big deal, okay? So retracement. And it's coming down. There we go. Coming down, coming down. Could we have waited for a retracement here? Resistance to be forming a break? Yeah, we could. Only thing is our stop would have been super big. If we would have waited for this retracement here, our stop would have been... Oh, no, not bad. 10 pips. 9 to 10 pips. Okay. Wouldn't have been bad. But nonetheless, this came down and filled this area here right around to this zone that we had marked off here. So... I expect to see some sort of retracement for it to continue bearish or it could come back up to retest this high that it created up here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely news. <laughs> yeah, that's the new right at New York. Wow. Okay, so this is news candle. So we're going to disregard this and price came right up to our level here, right to the T actually. So this is why having your zones marked off properly is important, guys, because this came right to the top of the, the level that we had up here. So I'm going to take these off because now that news candle came, even though we disregard it, um, it still plays a part in here. So price could continue bullish to continue up here to about this high if it does continue bullish. Or it could this whole move could get corrected. Um, or retrace somewhere around like this area here or this area here. So let's put a zone kind of right here because we have a lot of reaction in this area here. So let's see what price does here. Okay, so we have a retracement. So now, okay, we have a, a rejection and we have a support, a resistance form and price coming down. Nice clean move. So this should continue down. Um, but we have this level here, so it could retrace and continue bullish. So let's see what this next candle does. Okay, coming down, coming down. Yeah, we're coming down. Yep, right on down. Oh, right back up again. What time are we in right now? We are 12.45. Okay, so we're out of session. All right, so let's go to the, the knife, and we'll go to London session here. here and let's go so we've taken what two setups i think yeah oh yeah win percentage goes up when you wait <laughs> apparently all right so let's do our zoning here we'll put a zone right here i'll move the uh we'll leave this here for now because i have more re reaction here uh, see this, no, I'm going to put it down here because this scares me here. This, all this mess scares me. So we have, okay. And we have that resistance down right there. All right. So. Moving on over to the 15. Okay, so we have a break below here. I mean, price could come down. There's a lot of bearish pressures rejecting a lot up here. Price could come down and break this level here, but I'd want to see some sort of... Because these rejections bother me here. These rejections right here are, are bugging to me. I'm going to put a zone right here. I don't trust those rejections there. All oh, this wicking out. If you know me. So I want to see a break below a resistance and then a drop. If it does come down, if it moves up, I want to see a break above this high here. So continue bullish. Trust. 
much. Okay, came back and is trying to break above. Okay, so we missed it, but that's fine. Price pushed up. I want to see it retrace and then continue bullish. So I want to see a retest of this level and then a break of a high. Still not in the trade. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. And it looks like it's going to continue bullish here. It's going to continue up. So support form, break of the high. Um, where could price come? I mean, probably to the next QP here. Right at this rejection level. Um, I mean, I'm not in this trade, so let's see what happens. What time is it? 4.30. A lot of movement. Wow, this is just flying. And then it's ranging. And then New York session. So let's see what happens in New York. Um, so we're going to streamline, put our range up here. So price is bullish right now. So right now I don't really see cells coming into play. Could They could come in after. I mean, this huge move up push here. I mean, it's a big push. Um, but uh, it's bouncing right on this QP level here. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave it down here because I'm not sure yet. So I want to see a break, a break of this bottom to go for sells and a break of this high to go for buys. And there's the break. Retest, and if I see a bullish candle start forming here, I should continue bullish. Okay. Now, this is going to be a risky entry, guys. I'm going to say risky because this can easily come down, right? But we have a break above, a strong bearish, like, re ret retest. It did not break, came right back up, and then this candle started forming up, and now it's, it's kind of retracing a little bit. So, to keep our stop loss small... We're going to take kind of a risky position here. Okay, we're going to enter. It already came up and broke, but whatever. We'll enter at the retracement. Uh, we'll keep it. Mm, it has to retest this high, so let's leave it up like right here. And we'll keep our stop right below this range here. Right below. And let's see. So if we lose this trade, guys, we'll only lose a couple pips. If it comes back inside the range, let's give it a little more wiggle room here. We'll go for our regular 10 pip stop. Okay, 9, 10 pips. And then we'll anticipate that this is going to go continue bullish. Why? Because price is, is pushing bullish right now. We're out of this range that we've been sitting in in a while. We had a strong break above, a retest candle come down, and then we had this bullish candle form and form a support for price to be supported to continue up. So, I mean, we have all our confirmations. I don't see it coming back down, but if it does, then, you know, this wasn't in our favor. So let's see what happens. And we lost the trade. Price came down. So, guys, as long as you follow your rules and all, all of your confirmations, I mean, don't get mad at yourself if you lose a trade. It just, the probability just wasn't there at that time. And then price just does what it wants to do. So price came, broke, broke down and it's closing back inside this range here. So right now we don't have a trade. And right now we're looking bearish. It's breaking this range here. So I want to see a retest of this level, a, re a resistance to be formed, and a break of this low for it to continue bearish. So we lost this first trade. So let's take this next one and see. Uh, I, I am going to change my bias here. Instead of going for bias, to go for sells simply because... Um, it's 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 back inside the range and it broke below and we're at this quarter point here um and i need to see a resistance if i see a resistance of forming here then we can look at it but if it comes back inside the range then we don't have a trade okay so we have a a, a retest here so let's see if another can another bearish candle starts forming here and breaks this low and then continues we're going to take this last trade here for a short and i'm going to put it here so if this gonna put it like right around there and our stop will be inside like right there so if um if price comes down here we'll be activated in the trade 
and we'll see if we win it. And this will be the last one for this video. Okay, we're activated, we're in the trade. Okay, all right, boom, so we got that trade. So we run a bit of drawdown, came activated, came back inside, and then we en ended up you know, winning the trade, okay? So I don't know what all this mess was up here that GJ was doing. Um, probably grabbing liquidity is what it seems like it was doing because price was pushing bullish strong. Started ranging up here, pushed up, kind of took out, um, took all this liquidity up here. And now it's pushing, it's taking all that liquidity and pushing right all the way back down. Let's see how, how much. And then it started ranging. Okay, guys, so that's it. Being patient with your setups. Understanding that you have to let the market do do what it needs to do before you take moves. Even if you lose a trade, if you followed all of your confirmations, all of your confluences, don't get mad at yourself. Just manage your trades as best you can and look for your re-entries. If you have to change your bias, make sure you're changing your bias off of the confirmation that you see. Not just because you see the markets going up and down, up and down, you're going to take buys and sells and buys and sells. No. Only change your bias if the confirmations of what the candle bodies are telling you is making you do it. So that's my video for today, guys. Just be patient. Don't dwell on your losses. Understand that trading is a marathon. It's not a, a sprint. You're going to take losses. You're going to go through ups and downs. But as long as you don't dwell on them, as long as you continue to have confidence and you learn from your mistakes, that's where you'll come up, come out on top. Um, every loss is never fully a loss if you learn from it and you make sure you don't do the same, make the same mistakes again. Um, but know that you will lose. It does happen. But as long as your, your wins are bigger than your losses, you will always be a good trader. You'll always be a profitable trader. So, guys, that's my video for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.